Hi guys, it's Jen and I'm back again with another YouTube video. Um, this video is going to be about weddings again. Um, but first, before I do that, I want to say thank you guys. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I'm now at 100 plus subscribers and um, it's only the new year. So I'm hoping to double that by December. And um, with you guys' help from sharing and likes and things like that, I'm sure it'll happen. Um, but I'm happy that you guys like me. So today this video is going to be about um, Joe and I's wedding registry and I'm going to talk to you guys about how to purge your wedding registry. Um, now if you guys have any questions in regards to the website, this is a Squarespace website um, where I just created a cover page and that is how I created my website. Um, if you'd like a tutorial on how to create a Squarespace wedding registry website or RSVP website, I will leave a link down below um, to a video that my cousin shot, who is the absolute Squarespace guru. She knows everything about Squarespace. She taught me everything that I know. Um, so I'll leave a link to her video down below on how to create um, a wedding registry on Squarespace using a cover page. Um, now, if you don't have a Squarespace website already, um, it would kind of be a, a lot for you to, to, to pay for a Squarespace website. So this, is, this website is really for people that already have a blog or a Squarespace account. Um, if you don't, though, I would just get it a month before my wedding. So then I'm only... or um, but a month before I send out the RSVPs and invitations, so then I'm not worried about um, paying all the money because it is it's like twelve or sixteen bucks a month. Okay, now let's get started. One thing that you guys may have noticed off the bat is that Joe and I have multiple registries. We registered at four different places, and that is because we have different levels of guests coming. We have graduates from college. We have um, those veteran people that have been married for years. We have um, older people. We have, like we just have a huge variety of people. So we figured the stores that we picked would help us um, to better. Um, to, it would help it would help them to make a better decision um, now the next thing that I can say is when you go and you pick the places where you do your wedding registry shop like pick every single thing in that store that you like um, even if you've already picked a toaster um, at Macy's you may like the toaster at Target so don't sell yourself short on the things that you want on your registry that that's why you purge. You purge to make sure that you're not getting multiples of the same thing. But beforehand, while you're in the store, that is your opportunity to get done everything or get down everything that you actually want. Um, now, I'm actually looking at Macy's right now. Um, the one thing that drew me to Macy's was their honeymoon fund or their dream fund um, where people can just load money onto a Macy's card. That's super duper dope. Um, and I just thought that was really cool. Just one large Macy's gift card. Um, now there are certain things that, um, when you're creating your writing registry, you may realize that you don't need. For example, these plates, they are $157 for just one set of plates. That's a lot of money. And looking back and talking to Joe, we don't need those. I really don't even know why we decided to go with these plates. So things like that that you know that you won't use a lot of and you're thinking about, okay, what is the type of lifestyle that we have? Our lifestyle is not $157 plate set lifestyle. So that definitely has to get removed. You remove it from your registry and you just move on. Are there things that you really want? $80 for one set of gold plated um, utensils that's a bit much too so we're gonna go on ahead and take that thing off of the registry so there's a um, there's a good bit of things that are actually not needed um, that's the art of purging is deciding do I really need this will I really use this if so I'm gonna leave it and hope that someone gets it if not then I'm just going to um, delete it 
Okay, so now that I've finished purging um, my Target registry or my Macy's registry, we're going to go over to Crate and Barrel. Now, Crate and Barrel has absolutely nothing wrong with it because I love this store. And I've pretty much purged this already. So I've gotten some plates in here, um, some baking, bakeware, and things like that. Um, another tip that I could give you guys about um, purging your registry is making sure that you don't have a lot of stuff on it. There's often that people will say, oh, you need to have at least like 200 and something items on your registry so that your guests can really decide what it is that they want to give you. And that's just not true. If you don't want 200 and something things, then why would you put that on your registry? Just put down the things that you want. Don't, don't listen to people that are telling you how you need to live your life. You know exactly what you want in your apartment or your home. So make sure that those are the things that you put on your registry. Another thing is you don't want to fill up your registry and put so many things that people get overwhelmed with what to get you. You want to make it black and white. These are the things I want. And then you need to like the things that you really want. So these are all of the things that I want. And then I'm going to like the things that I want the absolute most. Um, I don't know how I ended up back over here in Macy's um, after Crate and Barrel, but we're just going to go with that. Um, another thing is to let go of all of the things that are um, unable to be sold. Like you see right here, it says this product is currently unavailable. So that, that will need to get deleted. Um, even though I don't want to delete it, I am going to have to delete it because at the end of the day, the, they can't even purchase it for me. Um, now, at this point right here, I'm assessing if these mixing bowls are worth how much they actually cost. Now, because I am a personal chef and that is the business and the career that I work through, um, I do need a lot of kitchen supplies. They do come in handy for me. So if I happen to have doubles of Pyrex mixers and doubles of whisk and doubles of all of that stuff, that's just a plus and a bonus for me. So um, with things like that, yeah, I do have doubles of. Um, another thing... Another tip I have for you guys is to shop by the room. Um, for example, Joel and I, we when we move back to Charlotte, we plan on getting a two-bedroom apartment. So with a two-bedroom apartment, that means two bedrooms. It means a kitchen. It means hopefully two bathrooms and a living room. So at that point, now I know, okay, what do I need to make this space accessible and useful and good for, for Joel and I? And then I start to input those things in my registry or review and make sure that I have them. For our bathroom, we needed a lot of um, shower shower curtains and the plastic shower curtains that go as the liners. So I put a bunch of those up there. Um, another thing is uh, towels for guests. I put we put towels on the registry. Um, for the kitchen, we put a bunch of kitchen appliances that we need. I've been using our Vitamix as our um, as our food processor, and food processors are completely different from Vitamix. If you know in the culinary world, it's ideal to have a food processor when you're pulsing stuff because it um, cuts down on your, your food waste. But anyway, um, yeah, so I, I don't have those types of things. So what I did was I shopped by the room and I made sure that I had every single thing on my registry that I needed for that room. Um, not ev exactly everything. We didn't put furniture and things that Joe and I are responsible for purchasing on the list, but we did put um, organizers, definitely organizers. So, so often we forget that we're purchasing these things to live in small places. How do we keep them? So I did put a lot of organizing crates on the list and um, things to get your closet in order, hangers. Um, so don't skip past the day-to-day -day things that you may not have to purchase. Even though they're cheap, they're $7, those are something that you need. And that's also something that people who are paying to fly into your wedding can afford because you don't want to invite people and expect, oh, my registry has like 50 something dollars. Anybody get me less than $50 on a gift is, oh, they can't come to my wedding. That's childish. And you need to really rethink your thought process if that's how you feel about the people you're inviting to your wedding. But that's for a whole different video <laughs> on a whole different day. Um, but yeah, so those are the things that you, that you want to assess while you're, while you're shopping. Um, I did want to talk to you guys about appliances because I feel that that is one thing that you should not jip yourself on. 
You should never drip yourself on appliances because those are things that you're going to have for a very long time. So it's nothing for you to go on YouTube and to look up these appliances. I'm so serious about this, y'all. We bought um, a waffle maker of our own from Target before and we brought it home and it worked horribly. Our waffles just stuck. Not to say that all Target um, waffle makers are like that because I don't know what brand it was. I can't remember. But do not jip yourself thinking, oh, well, um, I don't think anyone can afford to get me this, so I'm not going to put it on the registry. You never know what people will bless you with. So it's better to ask and maybe receive than to not ask at all and people not even know that that's something that you need um so that's definitely something that you guys should um should look into also purge little silly things like I just did that um that corn on the cob thing it was it looks so stupid to me I don't know and that's another thing when you're shopping and you're with your fiance one one thing is I can tell y'all about Joe is is he will put anything on the registry. I had to police him because he was just ready to go ham. He was like, oh, well, they could buy it. People could buy it. Putting $500 things. He put furniture from Crate and Barrel. I was like, Joe, this stuff is like thousands of dollars. We cannot have this on the registry. And um, he put it up there. So I did have to get rid of some of those things. And you think um, as the females, or as the women, I'd say, because I, I heard fem saying females was illegal. But y'all comment down below if y'all heard that too. Um, anyway, but as far as women, um, you, you often think, oh gosh, she gonna spend all my money, da 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 But for our relationship, it's the opposite. I'm more save, 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 and Joe is more like, let's, let's blow this money. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so really police your fiance um, while y'all while y'all are shopping. But listen to them. Um, don't be that girl that just hushes their man. Like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. That is very rude and very discouraging to their spirit. And you don't you don't want to be engaged starting practices like that because you're going to be married to him forever. So do you really want to tell him to shut up for the rest of his life? But those are that's more like relationship stuff. Um, this orange pot set is something that Joe really wanted. If I got rid of it, he'd probably scream. Um, so I just put it on the most wanted list so that if he really gets it, I know he'll be happy. Even though I'm the one that cooks with it. I guess he wants to see me cooking in orange pots and pans. <laughs> anyway, child. All right, y'all. So I hope that you guys enjoyed um, the little tips and tricks that I gave you guys on how to purge your wedding registry. I hope y'all didn't think I was going to leave that $500 pot set up there. No. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed that video, uh, jo enjoyed this video on how to purge your wedding registry. If you guys have any more questions or videos that you want to see in regards to wedding planning or things like that, if that's something that you guys subscribe to the channel for, let me know and I'll make sure that I push out more videos about that. Um, I've been working on a good bit of like DIY projects and um, things like that. So those are definitely going to come to you guys. Um, but now, normally the first Monday out of every month, I come to you guys with a Motivational Monday video. Um, due to the fact that my camera is semi-broken, I don't know how to work, fix it. And um, my phone is all the way jacked up. It won't even, nothing. But yeah. So due to that, I can't really record face-to-face -to, -face to talk to you guys like I want to um, when I do my Motivational Monday videos. And for that reason, um, I decided to give you guys this video instead. So your Motivational Monday video will come. It just probably won't come on a Monday. <laughs> so it'll be like a Motivational Someday video. I don't know which day is coming out, but you guys will get your motivation this month. Well, be blessed, stay stress-free. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful month, and a wonderful year. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. All right, so I lied and I came back. But um, I just came back to say that you will see me again. I feel like I've been doing voiceovers a lot lately. Or these past two voiceovers have been... Um, all the videos I've done you guys haven't even seen me and Joe so in our next vlog or video the next video I post um you will actually see me I promise I'll make sure that I I'm like present and not speaking to you guys via um my computer screen but other than that yeah
Bye.